Tonight, the All-American Gate at Fort Bragg is open after a security incident Tuesday night. According to Bragg commanders, the driver of a pickup truck crashed through the gate security arm. The post shut down the gate for hours to investigate. And tonight, only on CBS 17, Kayla Strayer is getting answers about the different reports from the military and the county about what happened. Kayla. Yeah, so there was some confusing reports last night. Fort Bragg officials originally said that Fayetteville police had caught the truck and possibly the suspects. Today we're learning that is not the case. The suspects still on the run tonight, but the sheriff's office did find the abandoned vehicle last night. So I talked with a witness who saw it all happen. It's a story you'll see only on CBS 17. Take a listen. We just hear like um, almost like a screeching tires. That screeching, the sound of a Dodge Ram truck breaking through the security arm at the All-American Gate around 6.30 Tuesday night. And while they were checking the license plate, the drivers smashed through the arm that was down. Helen Sid was driving home with her son after a Christmas event at Fort Bragg. That's when she saw the truck going through the security barriers. And then just blew right through the barriers and off post. I don't know what he was trying to do. I had no idea what was going on. I was just like, oh. Well, that just happened. It's going to be a while. The truck was badly damaged. The driver took off down the All-American Expressway. The truck found abandoned Tuesday night, more than 15 miles away on Hayfield Road, right by David Williams' house. Well, last night, there was a disturbance about a truck crossing the church. Do you think those guys will get caught? I hope they do. The All-American Gate is the main gate for nearly 80,000 people coming on and off post every day. Those who want to do harm on Fort Bragg and in and around the installation, um, I would personally think twice about it. Helen, a former military police officer, says from what she saw, security officials handled everything correctly and kept everyone safe. They did awesome. They did great. I was like, the whole point is for the gate guards to stop people from coming in the base that aren't supposed to be here, and that's exactly what they did. So again, those two suspects still on the run. No names have been released yet, and we aren't sure still why they were trying to get on post and why they left the way they did. Reporting live on Fort Bragg, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News.